My name is Dr. Jonathan Dresner, and I'm a team physician for the University of Washington Huskies and the Seattle Seahawks. Today, we're going to talk about sudden cardiac arrest as it relates to football and youth sports. Sudden cardiac arrest, or SCA, is the sudden onset of an abnormal and potentially lethal heart rhythm. SCA is not the same as a heart attack. A heart attack occurs when blood flow to the heart muscle becomes obstructed. This could lead to SCA and is a major cause of SCA in older persons. In young athletes, sudden cardiac arrest is usually caused by structural or electrical disorders of the heart. Sudden cardiac arrest is the leading cause of death in young athletes. Approximately one young athlete dies in the United States every two to three days from sudden cardiac arrest, and about two-thirds of all sudden cardiac arrest cases in athletes occurs in two sports, basketball and football. This is an extremely important topic for the football community. Sudden cardiac arrest can be effectively treated through prompt recognition, early CPR, and quick access to a defibrillator, commonly known as an AED. Throughout this course, we will address emergency planning, recognition, and treatment of sudden cardiac arrest, and preventive screening. Let's begin. Every school, club, and organization that sponsors athletic activities should be prepared to respond to a collapsed athlete with an acute cardiac emergency. An emergency response plan for sudden cardiac arrest, including access to an AED, increases the likelihood of bystander CPR, reduces the time to defibrillation, and improves survival rates. A successful emergency response requires an organized and practiced response plan. Just as players practice their plays, coaches and administrators should practice these life-saving procedures. The strongest predictor of survival after SCA is a short time interval from arrest to electrical shock. However, even the best emergency medical services can have delays, with the average time from 911 call to arrival on the scene for an SCA victim being 6 to 8 minutes. Research has shown that having on-site AEDs available in public locations increases the survival rate by a factor of 10. This is why all of your practice and game facilities should ideally be equipped with an AED on-site that is accessible at the time of an emergency. While training is always helpful, AEDs come with simple instructions including voice and visual prompts so anyone can use it in a cardiac emergency. AEDs are safe and only provide a shock to the heart if an abnormal heart rhythm is detected. The next step for your youth football organization is to develop an emergency action plan. This plan should include the location of AEDs at your practice and game fields, a mechanism to call 911 in case of an emergency during football activities, training in CPR and AED use for designated coaches, defining emergency routes to practice and game facilities and designating personnel to meet and direct emergency responders from the entrance to the individual. Designate personnel to stay with the child to the hospital if a parent or guardian is not present. Player and parent phone numbers should be available and personnel designated to contact the parents if one is not present. Remember, your emergency action plan may be used to treat any player, any coach, spectator, or really any person who suffers sudden cardiac arrest. It is critical to practice and review your emergency response in the preseason with all personnel who may be involved in the emergency action plan. In the next section, let's examine how to recognize sudden cardiac arrest. Most young athletes with sudden cardiac arrest do not show warning signs prior to a cardiac event. However, some athletes do have warning symptoms that should be evaluated by a physician to evaluate for an underlying cardiac disorder. Important warning symptoms include passing out during exercise, chest pain with exercise, new onset fatigue or excessive shortness of breath with exercise, and palpitations or the heart racing for no reason. Because symptoms are not always present, knowing a family history of any heart problems is important. An athlete with a family member with early onset heart disease or sudden death from a heart condition before age 40 requires thorough evaluation for genetic heart conditions that can lead to sudden cardiac arrest. Football organizations need to be aware that while no screening program offers absolute prevention, it is a vital and recommended step. A comprehensive history and physical examination is the minimum standard in the United States for pre-participation screening. Many medical experts also recommend screening with an electrocardiogram, or EKG. EKG screening greatly increases the ability to detect conditions predisposing an athlete to sudden cardiac arrest. EKG screening should be performed by qualified medical professionals knowledgeable in modern standards for EKG interpretation in athletes. Because screening can be challenging and symptoms not always present, prompt recognition and treatment of cardiac arrest is critical to a successful outcome. Until ruled out, 
sudden cardiac arrest should be assumed in any collapsed and unresponsive athlete, especially if traumatic head, neck, or spine injury is not suspected. Delayed recognition of sudden cardiac arrest can lead to critical delays or even failure to activate your emergency response plan. Common mistakes in recognizing sudden cardiac arrest include mistaking sudden cardiac arrest for a seizure. Brief seizure-like activity or involuntary arm and leg movements occur in about 50% of young athletes with SEA. Inaccurate assessment of pulse or respirations. Occasional gasping can occur in the first minutes after SEA and can be misinterpreted as normal breathing. Remember, until proven otherwise, sudden cardiac arrest should be suspected in any collapsed and unresponsive athlete and your emergency action plan set in motion. Treatment of sudden cardiac arrest begins with early recognition. The American Heart Association outlines four steps in a chain of survival. These steps are early recognition of the emergency and calling 911, early CPR, early defibrillation with an AED, and early life support and cardiovascular care at a hospital. If a player collapses and is unresponsive, responders should, number one, call 911, two, begin CPR with chest compressions, and three, retrieve and apply an AED as soon as possible. If shoulder pads are present, they can be cut and opened or removed to expose the chest. It is also important to minimize interruptions in chest compressions both before and after defibrillation. Having a written plan in place that you practice with your coaches and other team staff will help you with an efficient and coordinated response to a person in need. This can be the difference between life and death, so please take the time to plan ahead, train, and ensure access to a defibrillator. We hope that all football organizations have an emergency response plan in place. For those that don't, we strongly encourage you to take the necessary steps to create and practice an emergency action plan. Make sure you and your league recognize the life-saving steps involved in treating a sudden cardiac arrest to increase survival. Thank you for educating yourself on this important topic, and thank you for joining me in the quest for a better, safer football experience.